So, there are such basic git commands as git status, it prints information about current state of the git repository, it shows you which files are untracked, which are modified, you could read all details about status of your git repository. If a repository is fully synchronized, I mean that working directory, staging area and the git repository are in sync, there are no changes, then you will see this information in git status output, there are no changes to commit. Next, with help of git add, you could add files to staging area or index, or prepare them for committing. Git commit writes actual changes to git repository and it creates a new git commit object that has such information as author name, author email, date and commit message. Using git log command you could read history of the changes or commits. And at the moment in our git repository there are two different commits. In its output there is such information as SHA hashes of every commit object, author name, author email, date of the commit and commit message. Also it shows current branch name and pointer to specific commit. Usually branch points to the last commit made in the git repository. And last command here in this list is git checkout and using such command you could check out specific commit by its SHA hash or branch by using branch name. At the moment we don't have any other branches except main branch, but we have now two different commits. That's why now we could try this command git checkout and recap that with help of this command you could move files from git repository to the working directory. This command updates your working directory.